So, item SCP-398, Object Class Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-398 is contained behind a reverse airlock style containment chamber locking mechanism consisting of at least three steel doors and an atmospheric reduction system. A minimum of two guards must be stationed at the doors remaining at a 50 meter distance from the entrance to the SCP. Description. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. I was pulling up Twitch chat real quick. My bad. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. Description. SCP-398 appears to us subjects as a hallway of some description. However, details differ between accounts. It is first seen as a hallway with white walls, plain wooden doors, 20 meters, uh, metres apart, and approximately 2 metres high, and brass handles with no sp spatial attributes visible. This detail is consistent across all accounts. It was found on location at Data Expunged, and upon investigation, a dimensional containment site was set up around it. The remainder of the original building surrounding is unremarkable and has been demolished as such. Oh. Uh, do you want to be the agent or control? Mm, you decide. I, I guess I can be the agent, I guess. I, I can be the agent. Oh, you want to be agent? Alright. Yeah. I'll be controlled then. Addendum 398-A. Agent redacted sent to research subject equipped with a handheld video camera with transmission feed. Agent redacted travels down the hall. The hall. Changed. Transmission shows no change in the hall's appearance. Changed? How so? Different from when I walked in. Dark wood panels walls. Red carpet and Monet, and Monet paintings. I like it. Continue. Agent Golan further. Roger, sir. Continuing. Agent Redacted continues until the appearance of several doors. The door is similar in design to others in a location. Agent Redacted, open the one on the meter's right. Yes, sir. Agent Redacted opens the door to reveal an unpainted and unfinished room. Seems to be a cafeteria. A cafeteria? Is there anyone in it? You can't see it? There's no one in here, just tables, chairs, and a buffet style layout. Smells real good, and I haven't had lunch. Noted. Open the door opposite this room. Ancient Redacted opens the door. It is identical to the first room in appearance. This one. It's a bedroom. A bedroom. Yes, child room. The one I wanted from a catalog when I was a kid. It had Spider-Man sheets. We couldn't afford it. Noted. Continue. One more and return agent. Agent Redacted exits the room and opens the one next to it. Again, it is identical to the first two. Can't be here. What agent? What's through this door? My old girlfriend. But she's married now. Expecting a kid. Person in the room can't be her. Ancient Redacted, please return now. Ancient Redacted lowers the camera and only the floor can be seen. I want to make it right, baby. It's okay, don't cry. It was all my fault. Footsteps can be heard and then a soft, incomprehensible groaning from Ancient Redacted. Ancient Redacted, did you hear me? I'm so sorry I let you go. Don't worry, it won't happen again. Agent Redacted, you will turn around, close the door, and return to the outside. This is in order. With all due respect, sir, no. I can make it work this time. At this point, the camera is lifted and the feed is abruptly ended. And that's how you die. Yep. Well, is it stated that they died? Well, if they never leave the building, what do you think is going to happen to them? I guess we'll find out if anyone else dies, or just... 
How many, how many people can a building kill? Never mind, don't put me on the <laughs> I'm guessing you'll be the D class. All right. I'll yeah. be the D class. Yeah. Uh, addendum 398-B. After the loss of Agent Redacted, Class D personnel are to be sent to 398 personnel D-193 and D-216 are set to quit with handheld video cameras to explore further. Transcript of audio follows. Begin log skipped to 0 hours, 12 minutes, and 41 seconds. Right. Your tour continue onward. Understood. Transmission shows the same hall scene in addendum 398-A. D-193 appears to be in front of D-216. D-216 feet shows D-193 walking ahead of him. Oh, oh, I gave a man a woman's voice. Okay. <laughs> you know what, that's fine. Yeah. There are doors. Shall I open one? No, continue onwards. The class D personnel continue. Only a few metres. D-216 gas. D-216, what's wrong? No answer is heard. He seems to be unconscious. Oh, he seems to be unconscious, sir. His vitals have dropped out. He is dead. Leave him and continue, 193. Oh. Oh. Okay. Glad you're, sir. Redacted, uh, redacted seconds pass. The hall's changing, sir. The feed shows no change. Describe. It's starting to look like the corridor outside my old cell. I never wanted to see this again, but it looks like it, get, get, it gets better just up ahead. Noted. Open the door to the left, 193. D-193 opens the door, is identical to the room seen in addendum 398-A. A burst of breath is heard from D-193. His heart hate rate rises. What is it, 193? It's the basement we had in the house. I lived in as a child. I always hated it. I never went in. Oh, the voice is shaky. D-193's voice is shaky. Oh god, can you hear that? There are voices! Something's down there! Nothing can be heard except D 193's breathing. What are they saying, 193? I don't know, but I'm getting out of here. Uh, it won't get better further on, it has to! D 193 starts to run da on down the hall. Look at it. One D 193 return at once. I can't, sir! Here, go back there! Not continuous for redacted minutes until the feed is unexpectedly cut off. End thought. So it kind of acts like a, a fly trap. Yeah. Literally, one of the people it killed fell over and died, while the other two ran to their death. It's it's a fly trap for people. Yep. All right, so, oh wait, that's Busta again. Whoops. <laughs> that's okay, Busta's wonderful. Yeah. All right. Oh my gosh, I just realized they used the young girl. <sighs> they Four. used zero five three. Yeah, because the anomaly wants you to be there, not like want to run like hell. Yeah. All right. So it shows him something that makes him want to run further in. Yeah. Fair point. Yeah. All right. All right. So let's first see if they use the correct license. Uh oh. There's two of them now. If they use the exact hallway, they have to get permission. Oh my gosh, they gave credit to the original back rooms. Oh no, it's not the back room! 
It's not the goddamn back room. It's not rooms. anything like the back room. Wait. Oh my gosh, in their in their description, mysterious email, sender unknown, the subject line, the back rooms, an attachment, seek me that JPEG. Cost no recreation, but his, his curiosity got, often got the better of him. Why did he suddenly feel so tired? He woke up on the oh, floor. No. He wasn't the foundation anymore, he was in the back rooms. <laughs> uh, also, yes, vampire, it does show them something that will make them run further and stay in the building. That's why Control never saw changes, because Control wasn't there. It wasn't trying to trap Control. Yeah. Only the people that were sent in. Yep. The, the 2B class and the agent. Wait. Control by default would never see any of the anomalies. Fuck, actually... Instead of a fly trap, what's that plant where the further the insect goes in, the closer it goes to its death? I know there's a plant. That is the... Oh, yeah, the pitcher plant. Yeah, it's like a pitcher plant. <laughs> it lures them in, but once they get in, they can't get out, and they slowly dissolve. Yep. It's like a faster version of it. Yep. Because one person literally fell over dead. Yep. All right, let's see. I swear, if they do a no clip into the floor, we have a picture. They have those waxy insides. I think that makes it hard to climb out. Yeah. They're, they're going to make it like no clipping, if you know what that is, but, uh, Jerry. No clip? It's basically where... You go to this one part of an area, and you do a certain thing, and you fall through it, and you go into the back rooms. That's how you get there. It's no clipping. Oh. Yeah, they're probably yeah, going to do that. that. That's not the term for it. And I know about some of the things that are supposed to be in the back rooms, but this is not the back room! Right! <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> Incident reports, SCP evaluations, and experiment requests. The paperwork of the Foundation was like most. Not terribly fun, but a necessary chore. They used to be much more interesting to read. But perhaps it was just him, having gotten used to them. Floss looked up at his computer screen to see a new email in his inbox. Sender unknown. He opened the email. But it was blank. Besides the No. That's not how the, no. not how the foundation does anything. It tells you who sends what email. And it, this is not on the back room. <laughs> ah! This was probably made yeah in 2022. That, that's I think that's when the back rooms came popular. The back rooms are older than 2022. But also, this is not on the back room. <laughs> Subject line, back rooms, and an attachment. He clicked the header. It was pretty much impossible to hide who had sent it. The Foundation had sophisticated analysis and tracking tools at their disposal. He clicked the track button. The system searched. Now, that was indeed odd. The attachment. Simply nah, no, it seek me. Jpeg was too hard to pass up. He knew he shouldn't, Even but he had to open. People can trace emails if they have the right equipment. Yeah, Foundation definitely has the right equipment. <laughs> yeah, there's no such thing as untraceable emails. It doesn't exist. Yeah. Open it now. The image before him was simple, yet intriguing. He stared at it looking for a hidden meaning. It was only then that he realized he was suddenly quite sleepy. He tried to keep his eyes open, but to no avail. As Did they do an anti-meme? Well, I think they did. Mm. Are they going to send him to the back rooms? Yes. And pretend like they're talking about the SC 
Yep. <laughs> I can hear your anger. <laughs> okay, yes, you are right, and Tammy are, and Spoon are right. Whenever I get upset, <laughs> if I have a mouse, I will, like, pick it up and let it go, and I've definitely done that a few times already. <laughs> As he drifted into unconsciousness, he mumbled, The back rooms. You wouldn't. Here's another thing. You. The back rooms, you have to no clip through a wall, a corner, or a floor. You don't fall asleep and go there. That's not how it works. Yeah. But, anyways. <laughs> I couldn't believe what Kripke got himself into this time. You need to see. Chen looked up from the papers in his hand. The lab was empty. Where had Kloss gone? He walked over to his table. Everything was in place. He looked at the computer screen and saw a flashing box. Welcome back. Today I bring you SCP-398, the greeting hall. Please remember to subscribe. You, wait, you're- Oh my gosh. Ed. Kloss slowly Wait. raised his head, his they eyes blurry the, and still sleep. They used the photograph as a way to create this. Yeah. Did they... they did not. Oh, no. <sighs> what, where am I? Also, he was on some he type of... Unconscious, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Oh, that sucks. That sucks, Kieran. Sorry about that. Anyways, let's continue on with this. Corridor. Thank God. The walls were an odd shade of yellow, and the fluorescent lights above buzzed faintly. In front of him were two plain wooden doors. Scratched into their surfaces were the words salvation what? and salivation. What the? I'm dreaming. Surely this must be a dream. He pinched his forearm. I'm Guess... pretty sure there's supposed to be more hallway and doors. But the doors, how they look, the hallway, how it reflects the mind of the person who's in there. Yeah. So, so his brain is boring. Yep, it very much is. <laughs> Not. He looked back at the doors. Salvation. Salivation. He looked back and forth between the doors. It was anyone's guess which does was the way to go. Or does he want to be touched? <laughs> sooner I choose, the sooner this all ends. One way or another. He walked forward and opened the door labeled Salvation. The light momentarily blinded him. As he moved his hand away from his eyes, he found himself inside a yellow room. It looked like an old office building, but empty. A musty smell came from the carpets. That is not Damp. how an old building looks. Yeah, not it's... an old office building. And here's the thing, that's not even the... I don't even think that's the first floor to the back rooms. It's just one of the most known. Okay. But yeah, that... That is what one of the floors in the back rooms is. As he looked further down, it seemed like the office spaces continued infinitely on, with no end in sight. Hmm. Perhaps salivation, then? He turned back to go through the other door. But there was nothing there anymore. Just more yellow rooms trailing off into the distance. Right. Nope. Not at all. Okay. He turned back. And or walked forward. Like the back rooms rather than the SCP. Yep. Let's see where this goes. He walked from room to room. It all looked the same. Every so often, he saw a gap in the walls. But when he looked through them, he just saw more endless rooms. Was it a labyrinth? Or was it far worse? Infinite. Just another room. He looked back the way he had come. Had he gone in the wrong direction? 
Mein Liebling, what a fine man you are. Klaus whipped around. A man stood before him in full Nazi air. Oh, come on! <laughs> Why would they add a German party member? Why? <laughs> SS uniform. Klaus's eyes widened as he realized who it was. Ooh, ha, 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 how? How? Don't be so surprised. You didn't think it would be so easy, Wait, no? Oh, yeah. Probably. You're frozen. I put you in cryogenics myself. And you will have to pay for that. But not today, my son. The man walked slowly towards him. You were supposed to be uh. with me. You were supposed to join us, not the Foundation disappointment. But, but how? How could I... Don't mumble! Weakness! One more chance! Leave the Foundation like I did! Join us! Join the Führer! I... I... Uh. I... Klaus looked down at his hands. They were shaking. Something wasn't right. He looked back up at his father. Subconscious. What did you say? Subconscious. You're not real. Of course you're not real. You're a construct of, of, of this, this place. Uh, I made my decision and I will always stand uh. by it. I'm sorry, Dad, but you chose wrong, not me. His father smiled and slowly faded away. As quickly as he had come, That's he was gone. That's not how it works. <laughs> Granted, it didn't, like, take parts of your memory in what you would want, but that's to keep you there, not to push you away. Well, except it did push you away one time, but that was to push you further down. To, you know, die. Yeah. Mm. But that didn't push you, it pushed him anywhere. Let's keep going. Can you make the Klaus felt a wave of nausea it? suddenly hit him. He yeah. collapsed to the ground, right? unconscious. Can you make the video go slightly faster? He opened his eyes. It was the same, but more decayed now. Asking, the walls had so cracks stupid. in them, and some of the lights <laughs> dangled and flashed from the ceiling. Had he answered wrong? It oh, seemed no. like he had descended to a worse place than before. Where was Chen when you needed him? He thought to himself. Well... There's nothing for it. Onwards. <laughs> oh he continued gosh, on through message. the hallways and endless rooms. It was all the same, but now dilapidated. As he turned a corner, a hit in the distance, he Frank, did he I, I, I like Karen's message so much. Maybe he the all thought he was a racist. <laughs> so a shadow on a wall. Oh, no. It looked like a child. Hello? No response. He walked towards the shadow and looked around the corner. A young boy of perhaps 13 or 14 sat on the floor, looking at him. Um, hi, are you okay? How old are you? Do you know how to get out of here? Um, I'll start. Uh, my name is Klaus. I know. Um, how do you know that? Who, who are you? What's your name? You know my name. I do? I know your secret. What, what? secret? You think I don't, but I do. You think you rescued me, saved me, but you keep my past a secret from me. Klaus looked at him in shock. J James? The boy nodded. But, but I, I, uh, how do you know? that I was a D-class? Memories are strange. One accident, and you can lose them. But not always. Permanently. This, this, this isn't real. Uh, no, no, this is another trick. I, I never knew you as a child, Chen. That doesn't matter. What matters is what you did to me. No, no, no. Your voice, your your face, it, it's not you. I saved you. I took you out of the D-Class program. You keep my secrets, my memories from me. 
You stole my memories. Stop. You aren't Chen. Chen is my friend, and I did what I had to for him, not you. As he pointed his oh, finger at the yeah, child, sure. it disappeared. Hmm. Klaus took a deep breath. He felt the nausea again. Here we go no, again. Yeah, he collapsed sure. to the floor. Yeah, before we continue, that... Continue, that's not what the fetish would do. Like, they have taken D-Class and made them MTF personnel. They've done it before. They don't amnesticize them. <laughs> no, they don't. Yeah. <laughs> Can you please click the thing on the video to make it go faster? Yeah, that, that He opened constant. his eyes once more. Now, the walls were black and filthy. Water pulled on the floor, and a low fog drifted from oh. the further rooms. I don't know if I'm doing this right, but it sure doesn't feel like it. No, it doesn't, does it? He heard the voice coming from the corridor. Who's that? Yep. Don't you recognize me? The man came around the corner. Wait, what? It was him. It was Kloss. What? Uh, doppelganger? You can fool and trick the others, but you can't fool me. What? You can't fool yourself. Fool myself this is about what? The Don't play yeah. stupid. I know everything you know. I know what lies in the recesses of that mind. That impressive mind of yours. The thing you hide behind. Tell me, Klaus. What would you be without that mind? What is there besides your intellect? No personality, no character. Well, there's nothing, really. That's not true. Isn't it? You're worthless. Betrayed your best friend. Betrayed your father. You're a traitor and a liar. Don't bend the truth. That's not what happened. But it is. And once it's all done and dusted, what will be left? What will you be? <laughs> Nothing but that brain. No soul. No humanity. Oh, you've done terrible things, Doctor. You can't hide them from me. No, no. I, I tried. I always tried to do right. Lies, 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 lies. Not the truth. Lies father might have been a good thing. You're bending yeah. the truth. You're bending Pretty it much. to your truth. I can't change the past and what I've done. I've made mistakes, and people have suffered. People have died because of that. I can't change yeah, that. Agreed. I haven't it's always done things the right way, but my goals enough. were always clear. People might have suffered, and yeah. that's Sorry, on me, uh, but it's party. led me to what I am now. I'm no German traitor German or liar. Yeah. That is on you, and you alone, doppelganger. The twin claw smiled and nodded. <laughs> oh, salvation it is. He felt dizzy. The last thing he saw was a smile as he collapsed. Doc, Doc, uh, wake up. Claw slowly opened his eyes. Chen stood before him. Chen? You all right? We couldn't find you for days. He looked around. He was in the evidence room. How did I get here? No idea, but I 100% checked this room an hour ago, and you definitely weren't in it. What happened? Klaus patted Chen on the arm. Uh, <laughs> another day, old buddy. <laughs> another day. You sure you're okay? Uh, I will be. All right. Oh, on another note, seems to have been a breach of the internal servers. Oh, yeah? Yep. Seems that SCP-398, a.k.a. the Greeting Hall, found a way to reach out of its containment. Let me guess. Via email. Chen gave him a quizzical look. And just how do you know that? SCP-398 appears to all subjects as a hallway of some description. However, details differ between accounts. Oh, my God. It is first seen as a hallway with white walls, plain wooden doors 20 meters apart and approximately 2 meters high, and brass handles with no special attributes visible. It was found on location, at, and upon investigation, a dimensional containment site was set up around it. The remainder of the original building surrounding it is unremarkable and has been demolished as such. 398 is contained behind a reverse airlock-style containment chamber locking mechanism, consisting of at least three steel doors and an atmospheric reduction system. A minimum of two guards must be stationed at the doors, oh my God. remaining at a 50-meter distance from the entrance to the SCP. The back rooms are a place beyond time and location. Perhaps an alternative dimension located somewhere deep in our collective psyche. An endless maze of procedurally generated offices, triggering memories of luminal space. Three levels, each one deeper and more corrupt than the last. No clipping out of reality into a parallel no, dimension. No, it's not. Survive? That's not even what the back rooms is. Become your home. Can you depart? Look, we all yeah. have our skeletons in the closets. None of us are perfect. When you look back at who you once were, be kind. For you are no longer that person. As always, have a care and remember to... You didn't know about the, the fast forward thing. Would. Until next time, farewell. Oops. You didn't know about the fast forward thing where you, if you click and hold down a video, it'll go faster. I've never seen that, but I've always had to use the one option on the video. Yeah, they edited it recently. I think a couple weeks ago. Oh. 
Yeah. You can also do it on the phone if you hold down your finger on the video. Nice. Removal of character slash license. All of them. <laughs> Get out of four. I was thinking everything would be pretty minor, because this is so hard to fuck up, but... Yeah. Added gore or violence. I feel like this deserves a four because they added a German party. <laughs> yeah. Well, that would probably go to the bottom. With offensiveness. No, no, no. No. Oh. No. I mean, it is, but... Yeah. I feel yeah. like... Adding a German party person in itself is like an added level of violence, if that makes sense. Yeah. Deviates from the plot of the article. Four. Yeah. yeah I guess we can go for offensiveness, right? <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. <laughs> so it's a zero. Also removed characters, which is, is the top thing, so uh, what am I talking about? Yeah. Zero. Wee! 